Hello again, and this is the continuation of our lesson on main idea, topic sentences, and supporting details. In this session, I am going to model for you what your thought process should be as you're determining what the topic sentence is, the main idea, and then the supporting details. But the main thing we are going to focus on is determining that topic sentence. After you determine the topic sentence, then you will be able to determine what the supporting details are and you will know what the main idea is. The first thing I want to do is give you a little strategy. The first paragraph is about the rules of conduct during an examination. Um, if you're not real sure, you can always separate each sentence of the paragraph. And that way it helps you maybe get a clearer indication of what each sentence is saying and the overall main idea of the paragraph. For example, I took each sentence in this paragraph and separated them. The rules of conduct during examination are clear. No books, calculators, or papers are allowed in the test room. Proctors will not allow anyone with such items to take the test. Anyone caught cheating will be asked to leave the room. His or her test sheet will be taken. The incident will be reported to the proper authority. At the end of the test period, all materials will be returned to the proctor. Failure to abide by these rules will result in a failing grade for this test. So this is just separating each sentence and sometimes it helps you to be able to understand the the paragraph a little bit more if you're able to isolate each sentence. So that's a strategy you may want to use. Rather than what do you think after looking at these sentences would be the topic sentence of this paragraph? Which sentence kind of sums mm -hmm. up everything that they're talking about? I think it would be number one. The rules of conduct during examination <clears throat> excuse me, are clear. All the rest of them are talking about the rules. So that would be the topic sentence. But let's go through and let's do another one and I'm going to model for you the thought process you should have as you're determining. Let's read the paragraph. Each year, thousands of people are bitten by snakes. Several steps should be taken if you are a victim of a snake bite. First, keep still and warm. Next, remove rings and tight clothing. Wrap a bandage above the snake bite, but do not apply a tourniquet, as this may cut off blood circulation. Also, do not try to remove snake venom from the snake bite hole. Finally, seek medical attention as soon as possible. The topic of this paragraph is it snake bites, is it wrapping a bandage? Is it blood circulation? Well, let's think about it. The first choice, snake bites, is the topic because the entire paragraph is about snake bites. The second choice, wrapping bandages, is not the whole topic of the paragraph. Although wrapping a bandage is mentioned in the paragraph, the entire paragraph is not about wrapping bandages only. It's just one point mentioned in the paragraph. So wrapping the bandage is not the topic. The third choice, blood circulation, is not the topic of the entire paragraph. Although blood circulation is mentioned in the paragraph, the entire paragraph is mm. not about blood circulation only. It's just one point mentioned in the paragraph. So let's look back at the paragraph about snake bites. And you say to yourself, okay, I know the topic is about snake bites. You've already determined that. But what is the whole paragraph trying to tell me about snake bites? The question will lead you to the topic sentence which is the sentence that lets you know what point the whole paragraph is trying to get across to the reader. So what is this paragraph trying to tell you about snake bites? Well, 
the paragraph is actually giving you steps on what to do in case you are bitten by a snake. So sentence number two would be your topic sentence. Several steps should be taken if you are a victim of a snake bite. That is your topic sentence. And if you'll notice, then it goes first, then it goes next, and it tells you, and then it says finally. So it gives you the steps of what to do if you're bitten by a snake. So the whole topic is snake bites. So the main idea is snake bites. Then the topic sentence is the one that tells you what to do if you're bitten by a snake. So those are the questions that you ask. What is it about? Then what is the author trying to tell me about that topic? In other words, what was the author trying to tell you about snake bites? Well, he was trying to tell you what to do in case you're bitten by a snake. So if you follow that procedure or that thought process, you will have no problems in determining the topic sentence. Let's do one more. There's an old saying that goes, if you want friends, you have to be a friend. This is easier said than done, but there are always way there are ways, excuse me, to be a good friend. First, remember to be reliable. Being there when you're needed, for example, to give a ride to school or offering to feed a cat while someone is away shows that you're reliable. Additionally, you should be trustworthy. Keeping secrets shows you can be trusted and will ensure you're a good friend. Finally, it's important to have a good sense of humor. Being able to laugh at yourself and the silly things that happen in life will make you the kind of person people want as a friend. The first question you ask yourself, what is this paragraph about? Is it about trustworthiness? Is it about reliability? Is it about a good friend? The first choice, trustworthiness, is just one of the points being made about being a friend. The whole paragraph isn't about trustworthiness. So that can't be the topic. The second choice, reliability, is also just one of the points being made in the paragraph. So it can't be the topic because the whole paragraph is not about reliability. A good friend, that's the topic because the paragraph is about being a good friend. So the next question that you ask yourself is what is the paragraph trying to tell me about being a good friend? And that question will lead you to the topic sentence, which it lets you know what the, the whole point that the paragraph is trying to get across to you, or the author is trying to get across to you. So if you look at the paragraph and all the sentences about being a good friend, the one that actually tells you how to be a good friend would be sentence two. This is easier said than done, but there are ways to be a good friend. That sums it up. So all of the rest of the sentences are telling you ways that you can be a good friend once again. And this won't happen every time, but in these two examples, it happens. First, additionally, and finally, it tells you the steps to be a good friend. So these, this is the process or the thought process that you should go through when you're trying to determine a topic sentence. Study this, go over it, send me any questions that you have so I can clear up any doubt about anything on this topic. And now you will have a worksheet on finding topic sentences and I'm sure you're all going to make an A. Thank you.